more on CRN1. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cindy Laverty Show. Thanks for staying with me. My guest today is Marcel Pick, and we are talking about her book, Are You Tired and Wired? And, you know, I just want to let you all know that you can follow my blog at crntalk.com because the lovely Erin Farrell creates this for me every week, and it tells you all the guests that are coming up, and you can listen to replays of the show. So it's a great way to find out what's going on. Marcel, thanks so much for being here. Oh, you're so welcome. You know, I love shows like this because it gives someone hope that there might be an answer to something that is really plaguing them that they can't get an answer to. And it's as simple as making an investment in your book. Right. Which is, is it available? It's available at your website, I know. It's available everywhere. You can get it on Amazon.com. You can get it at, you know, Borders, but Borders isn't around anymore. Right. You can get it many different places. Okay. And it's also available on your website. Yep. Which is women to women dot com. Pretty easy. So yeah, men, you might want to get this because but you know, Marcel just doesn't treat men, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, you have a whole system in this book on how somebody can begin to heal. And uh, let's talk about what your system is, how you came up with it. Um certainly. What I the reason I came up with the kind of the approach that I have is that um, in my practice, what I found is that so many times if we just rely on nutrients, mm-hmm. we don't get to the bottom of what's really going on, and I see people back in my office again in about six months. Okay. So by making lifestyle changes, by making nutrient support, that's when I start seeing people stay healthier long term. Yes. And, for example, if somebody does, you know, they take the nutrients, they feel much better, and then they um, go ahead and just few, do a few lifestyle changes. They might By nutrients, do you mean supplements? I do. Okay. Yeah, like astragalus for some or ashwagandha, Siberian ginseng. Some people need you know, phosphatidylserine to help with high cortisol levels. How, how do you figure out what you're supposed to take? Well, I've got it broken down. And, okay. And, you know, for the people that are the workhorse, they need more phosphatidyl, I mean, the uh, the racehorse need more phosphatidyl serine to bring that cortisol down. And this is all easily available because they're kind of... It is, absolutely. So you could just, just take your sure book you in. a good company. Pardon me? You could just take... Is, are these supplements available on your site? Uh, there, yes, you can go to womentowomen.com and get a combination of those, absolutely. Oh, so they come combined. You're not taking like 85 different supplements. No, thank goodness. It's just too much for people to do that. Um, and then they can also, if they want to kind of put together their own packets, they can do that too. But the, the point of this is that the, just taking the nutrients right. doesn't really change what caused the problem to begin with. Because when we have inner stress, and all of us experience stress differently, what's stressful for you and what's stressful for me are going to be very different. And what we find is that as you begin to start to understand, oh, my gosh, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> or I'm really hard on myself, or I really expect a lot for myself, or I push myself too hard, or I really try to see how little sleep I can get in a night. All those things contribute to people's adrenals being dysfunctional. And if you don't change those issues that come oftentimes from our childhood in terms of how we do things, then the issue is going to be there after you stop the supplements. Okay, I'll bet everyone in my family is sitting there just laughing at what you just said because I've got this big smile on my face going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know. But, you know, the thing, Cindy, is we're not, none of us are going to die saying, I wish I'd worked more. Right. We're not. Right, you're right. So when in life, what's it going to take for us to wake up to say, wait a minute, I need to be present in today more. Well, I, I think appreciate today more. I think we have a big problem in our culture with that because no one's, you know, everybody w- listening w- would agree. I'm not going to w- I'm not going to be at the end of my life and say, gosh, I wish I had, you know, worked another 20 hours in my week. But then we're told, especially as women, you can do everything. There's nothing you can't do and you can still find time to take care of yourself. So how do you. How do you deal with your patients to kind of find that balance? Well, it, it's a fabulous question. And I think this is what I start to say is I think that the women's movement was really, really helpful for us in some ways. <laughs> and I think it really put us into a, a box in others. Which oh, is I, that I couldn't agree with you more. Now we are mothers and working full time. 
and wives and partners. partners. And have friends and have this. And guess what? We're last on the list. And we're supposed to be thin, and we're supposed to be perfect, and we're supposed Absolutely. to be this and that and the other Absolutely. thing. So for what I say to people is I need you to get to know yourself better. I need you to understand some of what's driving you mm -hmm. so that you can start saying no to some things and being able to live more in the here and now as opposed to in the tomorrow. Right. Say because no. we don't have a clue what's going to happen tomorrow. I could win megabucks. Right. And my life would drastically be different. Right. And I think women really live in this career thing with the fear of losing, you know, their job and that whole thing also. Absolutely. All right. I'll be right back. You're listening to Cindy Laverty's show. Stay with us.